We use it in a, in a, a number of ways. Um, at the moment, we, we, we get our lists are generated for us, capturing a number of categories. So we get, we get um, a, a list of the patients that have moved from mild to mild, being mildly fail to moderately fail. Also, of those patients who have shown a significant deterioration in their, in their score within the moderate group. We also look at um, patients new patients to the severely fail group and so we look at those lists and about once a month we meet with colleagues um, from the um, community mental health team, district nursing, social work and the voluntary sector to discuss those patients and how potentially we might, um, we, we might try and work together to meet their needs and improve their, 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 their quality of life. It shouldn't um, take the place of clinical judgment and if people are out in home visits or have seen somebody within the surgery and we think potentially could um, uh, you know, could be helped then they, they're perfectly perfectly able to refer them to, 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 to the meeting. The other thing of course is now that um, within um, our IT systems we're actually able to generate a, a failty score at that moment in time. So again, it's a useful way of, of kind of checking your clinical judgment to kind of match the, what your perception is against the, 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 field to, the field to score. There's two elements to that. One is, I guess, there's the process, which is actually meeting with colleagues, which we were doing before we started engaging with the 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 the, 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 um, the frailty tool, um, and I think that's that's good in a number of fronts. It's good to develop relationships and you know and generate a greater understanding of what colleagues do and how we might you know work, work, work with them. And secondly, it also allows us to to be more proactive in responding to patients where we're actually seeing evidence of a of a. A deterioration in their sort of, on their on, on their functional status, and and then looking to to think about how we might try and alleviate that. Mm -hmm.